Me hosting a Zoom call with my work colleagues. Hey, how you going, guys? How's it going? How's it going indeed? Guys, I just wanted to say hello to you guys. That's what I wanted to do. Say hello to you and see how you are going. Me when someone asked me what it took to build my successful YouTube channel. Well, I don't know because it isn't. <laughs> and this is me when my doctor asked me if I drink alcohol. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Hello folks, welcome back to the olfactory roller coaster ride that is the Mr. Smelly 1977 fragrance show. We've got five amazing fragrances that I'm really excited to share to you with you. It's a, a kind of a haul. It's a recent haul of fragrances that I got. Vintage cl for classics, classic vintage style fragrances. Some of them the modern formula, some of them the actual vintage. Let's get straight stuck into it then, guys. Before we do that though, don't forget if you want to buy fragrance samples in the USA, Canada, or Puerto Rico, there's only one place to go, myfragrancesamples.com, myfragrancesamples.com, my fragrance samples.com link in the description amazing range of designer and niche and also do not forget that this will be a great time to buy yourself a Norton and Wilson fragrance Bon Viver amazing citrusy Chypre for the springtime our new one Chypre Fulminare will be restocked in the USA soon you can get it in the UK and Gravitas Porom our definitive classic fougere link in the description Norton and Wilson.com okay guys here's a unisex one for you first Gris Cabochard, Gris Cabochard, under £20 to get a 100ml bottle of the Eau de Parfum. Apparently, this is the one you want to get. Obviously, it's marketed towards women. Forget that. It's an amazing, spicy, leathery fragrance. It's actually similar to um, the famous Aramis by Aramis, the original uh, Eau de Cologne or Eau de Toilette there, that you can still get that's still great too. But Bernard Chant, also the same perfumer for both. This was a 1959 release. Notes on this one, Aldehydes, Galbanum, Sage, Ylang Lang, Rose, Jasmine, Oak Moss, Leather, Patchouli and Sandalwood. Just a very, very refined, spicy, woody, Chypre type fragrance with um, almost a little bit more smoothness and a, just a touch less ruggedness than the amazing Aramis by Aramis. So fans of that one definitely might consider a blind buy of this bad boy. Let's move on. Here's one that I was really excited to pick up. Thank you to JJ Colborn on my vintage live stream. Check out my live streams every Thursday is vintage night and Friday and Saturday madness ensues. Jean Couturier, Jean Couturier, 12. I don't know why it's called 12. It's an aromatic and it's rather intriguing. £58 I got. This is long discontinued. I found it on eBay in great condition and pretty much unsprayed. Geranium, lavender, spices, fern, leather, woodsy notes, musk, tarragon and amber. Let's spray a little bit on there, shall we, guys? Uh, oh, yeah, baby. That is really, really a totally classic. If you like things like Gucci Nobile, discontinued hard to find as well. This might be, you might find this more easily for a reasonable price. Things like Dracar Noir is in that ballpark. Duc de Vervons, Alex Trem, amazing, beautiful, classic, dry fougere, and apparently a very uh, prominent geranium note. I don't really know what geranium smells like, so I can't really comment. Masculine, fresh, dapper, old fashioned, beware. And of course, there's got to be tons of real oak moss in there. And I like that. Amazing fragrance. Check it out, guys. F uh, 58 pounds. 12 by Jean Couturier. All right, it's unboxing here. This one just came. I got a gift set. A gift set of a classic. I've already got the modern formula. Let's see what I picked up. I picked this up on the old eBay. And I think this was costing me 40 pounds UK plus some postage. It is a gift set of an all-time classic. It is the vintage formula. I'm excited. You should be excited too. It's an exciting scenario. Let's see how this one looks. Uh, and it's just, you know, do I really need this? Not really, not really. But you know what? I'm a sucker for a nice gift set. It looks kind of old school. This is what you might have got for Christmas in 1974, baby. Let's get in. Okay, here it comes, guys. I've opened it. Dun, dun, dun. Ah! Okay, newspaper, Daily Mirror, Daily Mirror. Thank you. Here it is. Whoa, yeah. I'm very excited, actually. Very excited about this one. Okay, let's have a look. This is a gift set of Aramis. Aramis, it says Fragrance Classics. Look at that old school box there. No barcode on that. Eau de Cologne, 120 mil. And also after a shave, 120 milliliters. Let's open her up and see what you got. I wonder what year this is actually made. I really don't know. 70s, 80s? I don't know. Maybe later. I don't know. And uh, Probably not. It's got no barcodes. Oh, it looks in pristine condition. 50 pounds-ish. Yeah, no barcodes. This is real. This is real old stuff. 
Aramis Eau de Cologne 120, very minimal information on the box there, which is, signifies the old days when they didn't mess around with too much information. Lovely, look at the way it comes out there, it comes out like that. I like that. It's old, baby. I really like the modern formula. Very, very similar, but it's, it's called an eau de toilette now, eau de cologne. Looks, now it's a splash, so that's a minor negative. Mm, yes, indeed. I'm, I, I'm not going to explore the smell too much. It's a classic spicy, woody, leathery, very masculine, rugged kind of fragrance. Bernard Chant, the perfumer. So nice to have that. Let's just have a quick look also at the aftershave, which obviously is going to look incredibly similar, but it will say aftershave. Again, love the way they've done that with the, uh, the way the thing comes out there. Nice. And then we have course something extremely similar in appearance 120 mil the aftershave splash they're both splashes real men splash they don't spray or squirt that is an amazing thing to pick up i'm really happy to have it in the collection nice for some instagram pics aramis by aramis okay let's keep it going we now have another amazing fragrance for you and i'm so excited to talk about this one vol de nuit vol de nuit by guerlain this one i just bought the modern formula it's available now, about £50, £52 online. Uh, Vol de Nuit by Guerlain Paris, amazing fragrance. Galbanum, jasmine, daffodils, <laughs> uh, black pepper, cardamom, and pink pepper. And this is a 1933 original release. Uh, obviously, it's probably been reformulated quite a lot. What you get with this one, it's a little bit, I think it's a Chypre fragrance. It's a little bit reminiscent in some ways of Guerlain's classic Mitsuko, but it has this edge of Guerlainard and, and a slight funk of the Guerlainard, that civet thing that's not listed, but you get it in a lot of old Guerlain fragrances. It has this slightly funky, musky, ambery undertone, a hint of exoticism, if we're allowed to say that these days, and this wonderful green bitterness coming from the beautiful Galbanum. Amazing, very unisex, marketed towards women. Love these old bottle designs that they've, they've kept true to. Okay, last one, another unboxing. Let's get the old knife out. So this is a uh, one that I've wanted to get in the collection for many, many years and just never, never quite got round to it. Uh, classic 80s release has a great, great reputation. An Italian house. Can you guess what it is yet? I'm really excited to try this one. It's well wrapped up there. A little bit of protective cardboard. That's good to see. I want to get it out without damaging the box. Let's see if we can do that. Looking good. Oh, look at this. Okay, so they've given us some nice tissue paper there too. We can get it out. Ah, there it is. How nice, like a gift. And I shall unwrap that with my fingers. Let's check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a rather good condition bottle of Fendi Womo. Fendi Womo 50 ml uh, natural spray. Again, we can see there minimal writing there on the, uh, on the box. Not much info, no barcode. So it's pre about 1991 when everything started having barcodes. And we've got this, sen whoops, this sensational, I think, bottle design. I've seen a few different variations, but this one, some of them have the black bits down the side. I think that's when it's a splash. Look at that. Really, really intriguing, lovely powerhouse 80s fragrance. Apparently, apparently, I've never, never smelled it. Apparently, it's one of the best leather fragrances ever created. Let's spray it on my notes for this video. It's been sprayed before, but it's practically full. Let's take a look at the bottle. Great, 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 great bottle design. Oh, wow. This is a potent masculine powerhouse, if you like your chorus. If you like Antaeus by Chamel. If you like all things 80s, you need to check out Fendi Womo. Amazing on first impression. Just a first sniff. I'll give a proper review. Let me know if you've enjoyed that video. Remember that you can subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I do offer something different to most of the other channels with my focus a little bit on the older school stuff and some different stuff too. Subscribe to the channel and remember whatever you're doing in life, let's project and sometimes life may stink, but at least we can always smell good. See you in the next one. Bye bye.